you know, I, I think there's, um, yeah, I mean, the question, the question that, you know, that I is this basically just something that's in my mind that's um, being opened up and unraveled? And um, if it is just in my mind, what's it doing there? <laughs> you know, sort of one, uh, you know, one thing is this, some of it definitely feels, you know, like to use a Jungian term, like the sort of a collective unconscious or something like there's stuff that's sort of, you know, been imprinted and just seems very kind of ancient, but what's, you know, what's it doing there? If that's where it is, then there's part of it that just really seems, you know, very outside of my mind and that I'm communicating with, you know, uh, you know, beings that are just from some other dimension. And so I, you know, there's sort of, I, I think I feel sort of dualistic about it. I mean, there's, you know, part of me that, it's probably, you know, the part of me that's sort of a Western scientist, it seems much more, you know, acceptable to, um, if it's in my mind, then it's just some chemicals batting around and it gives me some experiences. That's a fairly acceptable sort of, you know, way to look at it, but that's not actually what it feels like. And so um, it feels a little more like you're, uh, um, transported to some other dimension that doesn't seem to be um, internal and it, it seems to be there and it seems to have a, a certain um, constant nature to it. I mean, it, it feels like there's a certain nature of the experience. I mean, part part of the experiences would, you know, I would recall things that flashed in my own life. Like I mentioned the, uh, you know, the, the nursery sort of scene. And a lot of those seem sort of random. I remember the, you know, it felt like, yeah, you know, like I was telling Rebecca, who's my wife, um, you know, it felt like there was like a roulette wheel that's being spun in my mind. And it seems like totally like it can land any place. And I remember actually trying to make some sort of effort before I went in. And, oh, let's go think about the childhood, think about that. And I had Zippo control to be able to do that. It seemed like I would sort of flashed into some things. But then at the, the higher sort of doses and experiences, they all got other otherworldly. And um, it, one, I would think, you know, that if it was entirely in my mind, you know, that one would, um, you know, similar to the way like you hit a, like a roulette wheel in my life, those seem very sort of random. I don't really understand why there seemed to be a certain, a certain constantness of the theme, you know, the sort of, you know, the different sort of uh, being appearances and all that seemed a certain constant. It really fit more with like I was going to a place. And I can't understand that. I mean, that that's not something I have the, you know, uh, that's a whole lot easier, a whole lot harder for me to wrap my mind and my understanding around than the idea that you know there's a, um, you know, chemicals in my mind that you know maybe are being released that trigger different things. The idea that it, that it actually could be real is is a different is a different than the usual worldview that I walk around with. <laughs>